I'm Anita from Stylist and I'm here with Richard from Tony and Guy who uh, is playing from New York, not especially for this, but uh, for Fashion Week in general. And he is going to um, show me how to get a 70s inspired curly look with my hair. And I've got quite fine curly hair, so it's probably going to be a bit of a challenge, do you think? No, we're going to make you you're easy to make it look gorgeous. I got caught in the rain as well, so it's uh, fairly large at the moment. <laughs> It is a little bit frizzy, but I think when we're done with it, it's going to look a lot more uh, glamorous. Okay, amazing. So what are you going to be doing, Richard? So we want to work your hair to make it look thicker with a nice kind of 70s wave to it. What would make it look quite modern is by kind of maybe isolating this side back. So it's scraped back on one side yeah. and then this coming forward with a nice beautiful wave all the way through. What quite do you think? 70s inspired. Yeah, 70s yeah. inspired, but taking that concept, taking that inspiration, but making it work on yeah. your particular hair type and your face shape. Amazing, brilliant. We're beginning to prep the hair with the uh, Label M Volume Mousse. It's a spray mousse, so you can direct it directly on the sections you want the mousse in. Now, the reason why we're putting mousse in Anita's hair is because it's a great prepping agent. So once we put the hot tongs through, it will respond a lot better because of the mousse that's in the hair. So all of those looks that you see us work on, on the catwalks, is most of the time prepped with volume mousse. So the mousse just gives it more grit to be able to do what you need to do in terms of creating shape and texture. Okay, so we've just applied all the mousse in your hair. What we're going to do now is dry that through and get your hair a little bit smoother. Once that's smooth, then we can obviously work the tongue so it's a little bit more polished rather than it being too undone. You blow dried it all smooth, what's going to be happening next? Okay, so the reason why we blow dried it smooth, we put a little bit of volume in the hair. Now the idea is to kind of work this coming back off the yeah. face. We're going to spray this so it stays in place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not afraid to have it a little bit shinier because it's got that 70s uh, influence. And the rest of the hair, we're just going to put the tongs in. So we're going to do that section by section. Everybody, everybody wants your body, so let's check. All right, so I've just finished tonging all of your hair. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to just brush your hair out and see how your hair responds and then put a little bit of shine in it. Let's check. I want your body. You ready? Okay, so as you can see, we've worn one of the side off the face. Uh, we've gone through and tongued the hair so you can see the wave that we have within your hair, which looks beautiful and glamorous. Love that. Very 70s inspired. And we've kind of obviously waved it through the front. For me, it just looks a lot more expensive, a lot healthier and a lot more done up. But the, the, the process to get there was utilizing the right products, utilizing the right techniques, tonguing it out and then just brushing it layer upon layer to create more of a natural kind of effect that you have in your hair. Do you like it? I love it. Good, you look absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Brilliant, thanks a lot Richard. My pleasure. <laughs>